Hi Taurus, this is your reading for December 2019. I'm gonna draw four cards for you and do clarifying cards, four clarifying cards underneath. Okay, strength, knight of swords. King of Cups. Nine of Cups. So it at the bottom we have five of cups. Alright. Very nice. Kind of this end of December could bring you some very good um very good time in a sense you might have a party or <laughs> Might be partying a lot <laughs> to drink and eat, you know, just about Christmas and New Year's Eve. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Strength card. Um, I'm kind of looking at it as a weekly, weekly energy, but as I said, it doesn't really need to be. Um, now, this month it's kind of influenced by this Five of Cups. It's something that you're getting into this month with disappointment, with sadness. This is some sadness, very sad person. Nothing much about this Five of Cups. It's nothing really much that goes on, but it's sad. Um, life is not treating you well. You know, you do have this three... Um, cups spilled in front, two standing straight behind, you're not even looking at it, you know. This, uh, uh, this five of cups, it's not, it is disappointment, it is sadness, but it's not a big deal, you know. It's not something major in your life that happened, you know. It's a, just your daily thing that makes you not really having much joy, you know in your life kind of at this point and being in this strength um, coming here strength card coming here in the as a first card it's kind of hold it within yourself hold it tame it that don't don't fight don't jump about um anything be um be strong with yourself. Be strong with yourself in controlling yourself. This card is not like being in control of others. This is being in control of yourself. I mean, you can roar and, and uh, um, hurt people around. I mean, you can do that. But now, and you feel like, you feel like, um, like um, you, you hurt yourself. You, you're feeling like, like hurt inside yourself. You could, <clears throat> you feel like wounded animal and you could hurt another as well. But this strength card says you will have this energy for yourself. This is very good to control yourself. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. That's the best way. Which is very nice. I like strength card coming with Queen of Rods. Oh, I love this Queen of Rods. Some stable, very helpful person. Will you have a friend who is maybe Sagittarius, Aries, or, or Leo? Or you just embody this energy? <clears throat> but this is very, very good energy. This queen is self sufficient. Um, she's a good advisor. She's a friendly person. This one is very good to have by your side or within yourself. This energy is to have because you can do a lot. A connected and, and um, a supportive card to the strength card, definitely you will manage this. You will manage and with ease, with ease. It's gonna be. It's gonna feel so natural to you to feel calm and collected, and uh, uh, all smart, with good ideas. It will feel so good. So natural to you. These two cards are really going well to each other with each other. Now, <clears throat> Knight of Swords and Temperance card. 
Knight of Swords and Temperance card. It's kind of telling you this is one of this um, kind of opposite energies. <laughs> one says charge forward, you know, hooray forward to the to the whatever place you want to be. And this one says patience, slowly balance yourself, think twice. You know, now Knight of Swords can be also energy of a hard worker, you know, of a very hard worker. That one that works from, you know, nine till five, you know, every day, no complaints, no, no sick leaves. You know, that, that kind of energy, this one can embody. With temperance, then it will go very well. But I really think that this, this one is charging, the being that you have to that you have to um, use your strength to control yourself and you do have support within yourself or from the outer space with some friends or relatives or somebody. I really think that this was the energy that you, that you felt and in the second week you might actually begin to charge. But then I think overall this energy will prevail, that it will prevail, it will tell you, slow down, you know, if you don't rush too much, no, this is no rush time for you, strange, strange month, it's the end of the year, and with, with these two, I mean, it's kind of a, uh, with these two at the end of the like like from the second half of the month it's like you're going to from one energy to completely something different you know this is really serious this is some serious things going on with temperance strength knight of wand swords and queen of roads it's a people around you or uh, you yourself feeling um overwhelmed with your emotions uh, with actions that you would like to take and then something that tells you no stop it for some reason for some reason you have to be patient is it end of the year everything's closing end of the, end of the year you know maybe you cannot even even if everything is there for you and you can move forward. It's just that administration doesn't work anymore because they are closing for, I mean, uh, end of the year. Yeah, nine, nine. Yeah, it seems it is like that. No, this justice card with a king of cups. It's, a, again, I see this balancing, this energy. It's all of it like all of it here, is balancing this Knight of Swords who's charging forward with ideas, with do things, do, do it now, N no time to waste. Now, you have to, now you're controlling yourself. It could be something legal here, yeah? okay, it's always when it's just this card you can say that. It could be that something legal is happening now in December and then you have to because everything is closing from 15th onwards or so and so that everything will stop by that time to carry on to the next year. Um, something that you would like to finish, you're keen to, to finish, you've got ideas, you've got a uh, um, plan how to finish something or uh, to proceed with something if it's legal you know but it could be simply just following these cards just confirming the balance just confirming balance that is right things to do that is true keep balance now king of cups it's either person that is helpful to you that is with you um some of yours, your partner, friend, cousin, brother, somebody. Uh, but it could be your energy as well. This is the energy very stable. This conqueror, his all feelings. You know, it's, it goes very well with this 10 card. 
that you are managing to control your feelings. You're managing it. Look, on, he's sitting on his throne in a top of water, very calm, holding his cup. It says, whatever is around you, you will hold it, uh, uh, hold yourself um, calm, collected, um, sober. Uh, when everybody is drinking, you will be sober. Everything is kind of showing, is telling me that um, you are in control of yourself in December for some reason that comes that comes major major thing major thing it's not that things are happening it's just that you control yourself for things not to happen things mustn't happen this month or that you would like to happen but they will not because of outer influences, whatever it is. Stalemate card. Disappointment. Fear. Two nine cards. It's your nightmare. Now with this nine of cups, it is a guy <clears throat> sitting drinking, you know, usually uh, in this, in this uh, deck, He's in this purple, looking jolly and happy. In another deck, it's a fat guy. <laughs> I think it's more, it was more appropriate to the energy of this card that shows everything is a lot for you in here. Everything is full. Full body, full cups, um, full plates. Everything you have, everything is there for you. Nine of cups. But then... This is your nightmare. Are you afraid of it? Or what you're afraid of? That's your nightmare card. That's your nightmare. Look, this end of the year, there is end of the year, and every time end of the year, we have to show to ourselves to um, celebratory mood we have to go to parties it's kind of a customary you know that you celebrate that you have to celebrate and it seems this year you will you will join people you pull your strength to be with people to you know show up to this party but um, it will be a nightmare you wouldn't like it. It's not what you want at that point. This December, you don't want parties. You don't want drinks and eats. No, not that. You don't want it. There is something else, something serious that you still made about and very disappointed that things are not moving forward. For you, at this point, this is kind of a stagnant energy. That, you know, it's it's not bad. I don't say it's it's bad. This is kind of hold the whole system at the moment. Just hold it within. Let the party go. Let this party go. And don't be afraid. Just join. It doesn't matter. Even if you're not happy there, it's all right. Show your face. You know, just be there with other people and whatever, whatever. Perhaps from next year, things will move on. But at this point, be brave, be brave. You can do that. Keep the balance. That's the truth that you have to find. Your balance. Master your emotions. That's your December. Yes, show to a party. Doesn't matter what it feels like for you. Just show up yourself. Just be there. It's a rat. It will get better. It's another year coming. 